Um, to begin with, okay, we just want to give judges this little picture. This is our country. This is National Park, and then these uh, pink dots represent where there will be sand filtration systems. So, feel free to that. So this is our budget overall for the country of Rwanda, $3 million. We actually, we don't have much, as much left over as all of you guys did, but that's because we felt it was more important to focus on like one aspect of it and completely fix it as opposed to like kind of half fix all these different problems because once you completely fix something, you can move on to the next problem. So we have $1,160,000 for right now. For training people, we have $500,000. And for later, we have $1,250,000. And we have an extra of $90,000. For right now, we are planning on spending, on, on spending $510,000 on 17 large fan, uh, sand filters. And we have marked those on the map on there. We have $250,000 spent on 500 rainwater collectors, which will be spread throughout villages. And like we did the math, and that equals about like one rainwater collector for every eight kilometers, uh, and 714 latrines for $400,000 for a total of $1.16 million. And then we have our next part, training. How about that ride in? I guess that's why they call it Rwanda. <laughs> we have about $500,000 to train 200,000 people on sanitation, hygiene, and maintain maintaining filtration systems, which is pretty good because then other people can train other people and we can eventually get the whole population working up. And uh, now we'll go on and do a plan for later and I'll hand it over to my friends. Hello. Um, so our plan for later is we didn't want to focus on just on the present. We really want to focus on how we're going to maintain the system so we don't have to keep spending more money. So we spend, we're spending one million to keep up the water system over a 10 year period. So even when the population grows, we'll still be able to maintain the water for all these citizens. And then about $250,000 on chlorine packets for the filtration systems for 10 years for all the rainwater. Because because there's so many pollutants, even rainwater is not safe from pollutants anymore. And so we want to make sure that these will even be um, maintained for such a long period of time. And as you can see, we really wanted to focus on the whole picture, not just one aspect of life for these people. These people need their maintain the water for such a long time. And yeah, so. Extra, okay. We had some money left over, not as much as you guys, but we decided that we would use it uh, towards future problems. It's not that much left over, but towards future problems and maintaining the national park, which provides a habitat for 700, which is like half of the mountain gorillas left in the world, and half of them lived in or live in Rwanda. What? Oh, yeah. So that's our uh, that's what we're gonna do with our leftover money. Oh, and thanks for your time. Save Rwanda. Save the gorillas. <laughs>